Salinas police say there are a number of reasons why they were able to make this arrest, but the most important of which is that the community had the courage to come forward and report what they saw. First off, this is a result of good investigative work. That investigative work resulted in the nabbing of a boyfriend and girlfriend, now both being charged with murder. A major break in the case happened Tuesday when Salinas Police Shot Spotter was activated in the parking lot of El Dorado Park. The value in Shot Spotter for us is a lot of times the officers in the field in their mobile computer will get notification of a shooting. But once officers arrived on scene, witnesses helped link 19 year old Santos Fonseca to the murder. What set this emotion for us were members of the community, witnesses, who came forward and spoke to us about what they saw. Witnesses say they saw Fonseca fatally shoot 27-year-old Ernesto Garcia Cruz several times. With a positive identification, police were able to find Fonseca the next day during a traffic stop. During that stop, they found what they believed to be the murder weapon, a 9mm handgun. It was in the purse of his girlfriend, 18-year-old Alexandra Romeor. Both were arrested. A search warrant was then issued at Fonseca's residence on Siskiyou Drive. Inside, police found another handgun, ammunition, and additional evidence. Police say with all this contraband on hand, they were able to connect Fonseca with another murder. This one of 37-year-old Lorenzo Gomez Acosta. He was fatally shot on Klamath Drive less than a week prior. Two arrested, Santos charged with two murders, while Romayor is charged with one. Police say it couldn't have happened without the community. Public safety is a shared responsibility, and just like in this case, when we have members of the community who come forward, are courageous, provide us information, then we work with our federal partners, our local partners. We're able to do a lot of good work here for the victims and their families. Now at this point, Salinas police tell me they don't believe these murders to be gang related, but they did want to emphasize that the investigation is still ongoing. Dan, they also want to encourage anyone in the community, if they know anything, to come forward. Thank you very much, Christopher. Santos and Romeor are uh, set to be, or they were arraigned this morning, I should say. They are due back in court on June 20th. <laughs>